So my hardware setup is I just have the Arduino um, with the uh, probe attached right to the pins to try to keep it nice and, uh, you know, keep those corners nice and sharp. Um, actually, they're excessively sharp anyhow. But, um, and my sketch is just the, uh, it's just the, uh, one of the default sketches. And you can see I've got uh, five microseconds for high and five microseconds for low. And that's it. On the oscilloscope, the waveform, it didn't look exactly like I thought it would. I thought the corners would have been more rounded off on, on than it is. Um, first off, you'll notice I've got some jitter in there. What I think it's doing, it's, I think it's checking the USB port. I think it ha only having uh, uh, a single uh, processor and single core, I think that there's, uh, I think eventually, uh, uh, occasionally it's checking the uh, USB port to see if there's another program. Um, it could be how it handles, um, it could be an interrupt on the port, or it could just just, um, just um, check it every once in a while without an interrupt. Um, so there is jitter in it. Um, and uh, I thought the quarters would have been way rounded, but instead there's a little bit of overshoot. If I zoom, zoom in, you can still see it. And I was going to measure it manually, but instead I found a, um, a function to measure it. And it's like 5% roughly, 5.5. Um, and, uh, I actually, the, it's supposed to be five microseconds high and five microseconds low for period, made for, t for 10 microseconds. Instead, I've got 14 microseconds for a period, um, which looks about right here. There's 10 there and there's 14. Um, so I've got a little jitter and I think that it's from, at first I thought it was, um, you know, maybe from triggering and I, I could, be, I thought it could have been from. Maybe the pulse width modulation they use in these lights um, to control them, um, but if I put it on, um, if, I, if I put it on pass fail, and uh, let's enable it, and I'm not real good at this get this particular function yet. Um, I'll turn this on, and uh, we'll reset this. Click on range, and. Uh, Let's see, we can change the, uh, we can change the size a little bit. It doesn't have to be really tight or anything, but, uh, oops. It's funny how the wine mask doesn't seem to do the right thing. Um, anyway, let's create it. Anyway, we have a mask anyhow. Well, I'm in utility. I'm going to go to pass fail. And um, I think it's down here. Aha, stop on fail. And if I hit on, it should, uh, I don't know if I have it going. Pass fail. There we go. And there it is. And it stopped. And um, let's see if we could go back up or back. Go back, um, pass fail, we'll disable it, and there's our long, um, actually it's a high, um, let's go to cursor, uh, mode off, and, uh, manual, sorry, manual, and let's go see if we can get the, and let's see if we can get the cursor over. Unfortunately, there it is. Unfortunately, this little menu is right over the cursor, so. So this might be problematic. We'll get it fairly closed. Um, and there's the other one. And, uh. So, it's supposed to be basically 14, uh, well, it's supposed to have been 10 um, uh, microseconds. In this case, it was generally 14. And over here, it's uh, um, 20, 20 microseconds. And uh, so that's interesting. It's the the uh, amplitude is just as high as the other. And uh, so that's interesting. That's where 
Well, how it's glitching. It's glitching. This is kind of fun. I turned on the uh, sound function um, for a, a pass fail. And it looks like um, it fails one. It's kind of a, a, a bistable fail thing. It, sta it fails once one way, once another way, and then it's back to where, to where it came from.